okay good to see you once again on my channel and i'm happy and excited to see you hope you've been blessed so far joining us in this um channel and if it's first time here just know you're special and we welcome you join us by just subscribing and staying tuned for our videos all right so today's topic is still about this on um, the series of the sensory organs and i've spoken about the eye the last time i spoke about the the mouth in other words the tongue as part of the sensory organ in the body of a christian and how we should use them and today and how we should let them also lead us to sin and today i'm going to talk about the ear all right so we're going to see how the ear fits in in the body of christ as a christian what is your ear for is your ear just a part of your face that beautifies your face or there's something else your ear should be used for and if your ear you know is used for something then it is good that we also share the other things that you can use your ears for and we'll take the first word of god today from proverbs chapter 20 verse 12. the hearing ear and the seeing eye the lord has made them both it means the lord made our ears to hear and our eyes to see he didn't just give us the ear he, the bible says the hearing ear and the seeing eye it means your eye is supposed to see and your ear is supposed to hear but then what have you chosen to be hearing so far what have you been hearing what have you desired that it should be the part of the things that you find for to hear what do you like to hear do you prefer to hear, to hear the word of god or you prefer to just hear secular music or vulgarity or profanity you may choose to hear some things that do not edify your soul but today i'd like to encourage you to choose to hear the word of god if for nothing because your bible tells you that faith comments by hearing and it does not come by hearing secular things it's coming by hearing the word of god all right so it is important that we make use of the ear so let's see how hearing the wrong things how hearing profanity or hearing vulgarity or hearing things that do not advise your soul can destroy the life of a man so i won't take much of your time so stay with us don't run away yet it's just a few points i have just three of them for you to enjoy this hour all right so how can the ear destroy because the ear can destroy you as much as what what you hear can destroy you as much as what you see or what you say as we've seen last time in the last series in the series so far so now the first one is when you hear negativity when you hear things that are negative about yourself it can destroy you so what did you choose to hear so apart from the secular things that you choose to hear or profanity or vulgarity what other things do you also choose to hear do you like to hear people gossiping do you want to hear the gossip that was said about you of what use are they and would you like to also hear them prophesy to you at all costs you will fall into the hands of false prophets who prophes prophesy doom into your life and make you a slave of your own imagination or your own quest so choose that we hear things that come from the lord things that come from genuine men of god and mind you i like to say that god is not a talkative it is true that God has a thing to say about every move in our life, but sometimes he chooses to watch us and he keeps quiet. So do not expect that whenever you see a prophet, he must say something to you. If you see in the morning, he must say something, that he must say something. You will fall into the hands of false prophets who will tell you what you were looking out to hear and make you a slave of your own self. And you know, when you hear some things like this, you will fall into depression and that can destroy you and most other things that you may be forced to do because you want to get out from that first prophecy or that prophecy of doom that have just been released to you. Or you can even fall into the temptation of hearing blackmail about your own self. So choose not to hear things anyhow. Build what you hear to come from the word of God. That even when you hear false prophecies, say to yourself the word that God has said over your life. Things like the word that God said when he says you have chosen and he wishes above all things that you must prosper and be in good health even as a soul prosperous. So when somebody tells you, oh, you're going to die, say, I'm not going to die because I will live and testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. These are why the book of the Bible is there for you to study the word of God and say them to yourself. Instead of looking out to hear things that will depress you and things that will make you go down. Two, when you don't hear the word of God, you lose faith. 
When you don't hear testimonies, you can't look forward to the things of God. So when you don't listen to the word of God, you lose faith in the power of God. You lose faith in what God can do. And I wrote here, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. I think it says that eyes has not seen, neither have ears heard the thing God has proposed to do for, the, for those that love God. So you should also make time to see that you listen to prophecies. Good prophecies, listen to testimonies of what God has done in the life of others, or even the life of your immediate family members. That will build your faith. That will cause you to believe more in the power of God. But when you don't hear the word of God often, you will go down in faith. When you don't hear the power of God as in the word of God, you will lose power as a Christian. Don't forget that a Christian who is powerful is a Christian who is grounded in the word of God, who understands the word of God, who knows the word of God, and who seeks to feed and eat the word of God all the time. So make sure that you create time for you to study the word of God so that you don't lose faith because when you lose faith terrible things will happen when you lose faith it's as good as losing hope and things can really really go downward and the last one is when you don't hear spiritual directions you miss your way when you don't hear spiritual directions you miss your way and we all know this is very common in the book of psalm 121 psalm 121 like you know it says i will look up to the hills I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made of heaven and earth. So when you look up to the hills, when the help comes, the help can come in form of direction. The, the, the help can come in form of instruction. The help can come in form of guidance. Now, don't expect to see a vision. You mustn't see a vision when you look up to the hills. But you have to hear with your ear when the direction will come or when the help will come when you lift up your ears that is why your eyes that is why your ear is important to be hearing to be a hearing ear so they can hear spiritual directions be it from a man of god be it from a stranger be it from a burden be it from your elders you never can tell even the stranger could be an angel sent to god to give you an advice and you might miss your spiritual direction or godly direction if you miss to take that advice because you feel the person is a stranger always make sure you have a ear hearing ear that you can hear and the same but it's part of god and spirit of god to know the right way so make sure you are always using your ear the hearing ear to hear and the sin the things of God and now I've just pointed out to you three ways how your ear can destroy you and if you go about the three ways to the other way around you see that those three ways to can help you edify yourself and help you beat up yourself in the things of the Lord for now I'm happy to see you once again and please don't forget to share this video to friends that will be blessed through this video and please ask them to subscribe for now to shalom bye bye and God bless you